Ipsy, ipsy, ipsy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing the Ipsy bag unbagging. So I actually just got my bag in the mail today. I did look online before to see what I was getting just so that I can plan and do like a try on style type of video so that you can see how each product works. So this is what it looks like here. And in case you guys don't know what the Ipsy bag is, it's a monthly subscription, it's $10. Sometimes you get full size products, but most of the time you just get travel size products or mini size of whatever the product is. It's about four to five items, sometimes six, depending on what the stuff is. And it's, it's based off a test that you take, kind of, just to see what your preferences are and what you like, what your skin type is, that sort of thing. So if you want to um, go check it out, I'll have the link down below so you guys can see um, where you can get subscribed to it. So this month's bag looks like this. It's really cute. So it'll always come in with a bag. And then I'm going to go ahead and open up the bag and you'll have your products in there. Sometimes the products won't fit in here, so they'll put them in the actual Ipsy bag. And then it comes with a little card here of the theme of the month. And this month, I don't know what the theme of the month is actually. Let me see, let me read the back of the card. It says, disrupt the system, smash the status quo, make some noise. This month's Glam Bag Plus with five personalized picks are here to help you stand out from the crowd, create a scene, and express your own unique beauty. Want to color outside the lines? Head over to Ipsy app for tons of inspo on how to break beauty rules. So it looks like if you go to the Ipsy website, they'll tell you a bunch of ways that you can use the products that are in your bag. I'm going to tell you how I use them or how you could use them. If you, like I said, want to get the subscription monthly, it's $10 and then the link will be down below so that you can go ahead and check that out and get subscribed to it. And it looks like if you do sign up for Ipsy, it says only on Ipsy Shopper, 30% cash back on all of these. So there's different products on the little card, like it says Box of Cosmetics on the Lash Mascara. Bare Minerals um, Lash Mascara and Ico Lash Mascara. I actually haven't used, I think I've used the Ico one before, but that's it. But yeah, so this is what the little card looks like. I wish it had the price on it, but I actually went online to look how much the full size products are. Um, so like I said, these are travel size or mini size of it. Usually they're not the full size. But first, we are going to see what we got in here. So the first thing I pulled out is the Smashbox Photo Finish Prime Riser. It says primer and moisturizer in one. So I'm guessing it's for your skin. You can see it there. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this on. Just clean my hand before I put anything in here. I was swatching some items I got from ColourPop in the mail today. I'm so excited. I'm gonna play with them around a little bit before I make a video and see how that stuff works out for me. But let's see here. So I'm just pumping out the product. I think that should be good. And I'm just gonna grab it with my finger and just dot it on the face. It's supposed to be a primer and a moisturizer. So I'm just putting it in random spots and then I'm just gonna go in with my fingers and rub that into my face and so for the Smashbox photo finish prime riser the full size product is $42 and the travel size is $15 the travel size is gonna be bigger than this this is just like a mini sample version of it so that you can try it out. So it'll be a little bit bigger. I'm not sure how many ounces or any of that is. So there is that. Okay, that's nice on the skin. Let's see. I haven't tried this out before. So I mean, I'll play with it a little bit. See how it looks. If you can see the difference between my skin now and before I put on the primer. Let's see. Let's pull you in so you guys can see better. So I don't know if you guys see anything different. It does feel moisturizing. It's a little tacky. 
So I guess we'll see how the foundation holds up. I'm going to just use my usual foundation because no foundations in the bag. I'm just going to be using the Makeup Revolution foundation stick and the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter foundation in the shade 310. And I'll just do this off camera and come right back. So I'm going to start with the eyes first. I have this eyeshadow that I got in the bag. came in here. And this is the... Is it Meek and Mia or Meech and Mia or... I don't know, I can't say it, but... And it's in the shade Gun Metal. It's, I think it's like a gray, black, metallic kind of shadow. So I'm gonna try to do a smoky eye with this. So that's why I wanna start with the eye first. And the actual full size one retails for $11.50 on the Meech and Mia website. So to do that, I'm going to also use the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to use the browns in here and maybe that black. So some of these browns and this black here. When I use this on the eye, I'll come back and let you know. That crease is done. Now I'm gonna go in with this shade and put it all over the lid. I'm just gonna grab a flat brush, grab it without wetting it or anything and see what it looks like without anything on the eye. And I'm gonna just dab it in and then I will. Looks like you need to build it up because you can't really see it that much. I won't bring it all the way up to the crease. I'm just gonna leave it down lower and start building it up. And I'm gonna put a little bit more on top of that. I think it's actually kind of good that it doesn't have as much pigment because that way you can build it up or you're gonna look like you just got punched in the face if it's too dark. Especially when you're trying to do a smoky eye, you wanna build your color up instead of just putting the black right on your eye because then it's hard to blend out so you really want to build a color up and just make sure that you go in and blend i'm going to go back in with those browns that i used and just go back in and blend it there so it's not such a harsh line then if you see i did kind of lose that gray a little bit so I'm going to go back into that black or gray metal color <laughs> and pack some more in there. And if you see, I'm not putting any here in the outer corner because I want to go in with a black and actually darken that out. I'm going to go in back with that brush and blend. And I don't have any product on my brush. Just whatever was left over from last time. I'm going to grab a smaller brush to pack that color on the outer corner. It's just a black eyeshadow. And I'm going to pop it in at the end here. I'm going to go back and... Blend that in. I'm gonna grab a little bit more. Okay, and there's that eye. I'm gonna do the other one off camera and I will be back. All right, so I'm back, done with the other eye. And I did my foundation, my concealer, my bronzer. And there is a product in the bag that it says that you can use it as a blush, a highlight, and an eyeshadow. And that is this Nomad Around the World Light Infusion Powder. And it's in the shade Positano Sunrise. And that's what that looks like. I'm going to take it out of the box here. And then this one on the website, it says that it retails for 
And this is just the sample size again. The full size is going to be $17 on the Nomad website. So it's kind of pinky. I don't know if you'll be able to use it as a highlighter. We will try, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and use it as a blush and see if I can use it for my lower lash line as a eyeshadow. I'm going to grab just my Heal Technique sponge and just go in there. See if I can get all my brush in there and pop it on the cheeks. Oh, it's really pink. Okie dokie. I think I went a little too heavy handed. My bad. So if you dab a little bit in there, I can see how it's a highlight. You can see that there. I guess it's nice with the eye look. Because this is so dark, maybe bringing a little bit more light to the cheeks. I'm trying to get that out there. Let me see if I have a brush that doesn't have much in there. I'm going to use this one and see if I can uh, sheer it out a little bit. Because that is really pink. <laughs> but I can see it working as a highlight. I don't think it's going to work as an eyeshadow, but we will try, I guess. So I'm just popping it up on my apples and then just bringing it up as well since it works as a highlighter. If you can see that. And I'm doing the same here. And I'm going to pop whatever is rest on my brush on my nose to give it that highlight. And on my chin. And then on the lower lash line, I am going to go ahead and put in my black eyeliner. And this is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in the shade um, Perversion. If you guys want more of a tutorial on the smoky eye, go ahead and let me know down below. Comment on one of my posts, whatever works best for you guys. Just let me know if you guys want to see how we really need to blend every all these colors out to make it smoky. So let's see if this little guy can bring some color to the bottom of our eye. I'm going to grab this small like flat angled brush can you see that focus there you go see and i'm gonna grab some of that product and see how it looks on the lower lash line you could if you're going for a really soft color under the eye or maybe pop it in as an inner corner highlight but you can barely see that so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put it on the other eye just so it's the same. And then I'm just going to smoke it out with those browns and um, maybe a little bit of the black that I used for my eyeshadow on top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that pink blush, highlight, whatever it is, eyeshadow, and pop it in the inner corner here. Give a little bit of light to our inner corner. It'll bring the whole look together with the blush here. And we're going to put that one away and see what our next product is. And that would be our Trestique. This is a mini lip glaze in the shade Numbai Mangenta. And it is a supposed to be a lip color. It looks kind of pinky. We'll see how it looks. So we're going to go ahead and go in with this and see. Oh. Okay. It's really sheer. I feel if you really want to do like a color with this like if you really want it to look maybe use a lip liner and go over it with this kind of goes with the whole pink thing i guess with the pink blush and a little bit of the pink inner corner there kind of just shearing it out a little bit so it's not so bright but it still looks nice on the lips and then I'm just going to put in some mascara 
And we're gonna go in with our last product here in our bag. Oh, and I forgot to tell you the lip um, glaze from Trustique. The full size retails for $25. So if you wanna go ahead and purchase that, you can find it on the Trustique website if you like it. To be honest with you guys, I would not spend $25 on this product. I have other things that I like better that are not as expensive. Okay, and then the last product of the bag is this Hemp's Herbal Extracts Triple Moisture Herbal Whipped Body Cream. <laughs> and that is that. It's a lotion for your body. And I'm gonna just go ahead and put it on my hands. I'll let you guys know how it feels. Mmm, I like the smell. It's kind of like Hawaiian smell, like if you guys have those little Febreze spray thingies, that's kind of what it smells like in your hands. So it's not a bad smell. Really, like, feels kind of oily, but not like bad oily. Like, it's moisturizing my hands. I feel like I want more. <laughs> It's kind of like that lotion that you put on and it just slides, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's hard to explain. I'm not really good at explaining how things feel. But more like a... Not thick, like thin. And then you, you can just slide your hands. Okay, and now we can go over the stuff that I got on the Ipsy bag and let you know what things I liked, what things I didn't like so much. So this primer and moisturizer felt pretty good on my skin. It did feel kind of tacky. And the whole point of a primer so that your foundation sticks onto your skin. So it felt good. Um, I guess I will have to give it more of a try and let you guys know how that worked out. But for now, it is pretty good. Then the Meek and Mia Gunmetal eyeshadow I like it for what it is I mean I wouldn't go and spend $11.50 on this where I can find something similar to it in a different palette I do have a MAC one that's similar to this since this is more of a metallic kind of I mean it has a little sheen to it you can't really see it that much but when it's on the eye it kind of gives a little sheen it's okay it's not bad. It's eleven fifty, so I mean you can definitely go on the ColourPop website and find something similar that is cheaper. And then for the Nomad Light Infusion Powder, this thing, um, it's pretty. I probably am not gonna go out and purchase the full size. It was pretty for a blush. I feel like it's a little too pink for me. Um, as a highlight, maybe if I go in softer, so you can't really see the pink in it, it would be pretty. And as an inner corner, I do like it as an inner corner a lot. So I'll probably use it for that. And then this lip glaze. It's really pretty. It gives you a soft, um, pinky look to the lips. So it's, I do like it. Um, I wouldn't purchase the whole, whole size for $25. Um, And then for this lotion, this I didn't tell you guys how much the full size is. The full size bottle of this is $25.99, so $26 pretty much. Um, I did like it, um, but then again, I do like lotions a lot, so I don't know if it's not your thing, then you don't have to purchase it. But if you like any of these products, how any of these products work, then just um, I'll have the links down below. So you guys can check it out and also for the subscription for the Ipsy bag. So and that's what the bag looks like. Oops, I stuff on it. And that's the back and that's the inside. And yeah, the bags are really cute. Oh look, it says something on the rules were made to be broken. So yeah, you can use these in a lot of different ways. If you go on the Ipsy website and check out like this one, like it said that you can use it as a blush as well. So if you do like creams on your face, make sure you're not wearing any, um, any powder.
powders, then you can definitely go in with this and make this work as your um, blush or lip, whatever works for you. And the same thing with this one. And you can do pretty much with all of it, except for, of course, a primer. I don't know what else you would use it for. But this one, you can probably wet it or use it with Vaseline and make like an eyeliner if you wanted to. Um, Eyeshadow, like I did, or a liner. Those are the two main things that I think I would use this for. Um, and that's it. Those are the products for this uh, month's Pipsy unbagging. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys want to see more of the Ipsy unbagging, let me know. Like the video, comment down below, and subscribe. We'll see you in my next one. Toodles.